Hey, what's up? This is part two of the What Is Xiaomi Doing 2018 Monster Edition. If you haven't seen part one, you can check that one out right here. And if you have, let's go. So now let's cool down and move on to the smart fridges as they now not only have two fridges as before, but they have this stunning amount of 10 different refrigerators in store. All these new smart fridges are by Viomi. Some have got these smaller displays, while this one has got a larger display and a freezer and Wi-Fi and voice control. These new smart fridges range from 2700 RMB up to 6000 RMB depending on which model, which is a range from 390 US dollars up to $1000. But with the shipping hassle, I don't expect any of you to actually order these from China to be honest. The most interesting one to see is this coffee table fridge. Yes, you heard it right, coffee table fridge. This has a built-in touch display in the tabletop. It's got built-in speakers and an accessible USB port and auxiliary input. I know, it's very excessive and extremely lavish. This table fridge combination came out in the Yopin store for $24.99. Next up are these smart laundry machines. Surely you could not do just one of these, so they now have seven. Yes, seven different laundry machines in the Yopin store. Most notable is this very silent wall-mounted Mini J laundry machine with a three kilogram capacity. Judging from the pictures, this laundry machine is just for those quick washes for your baby clothes or anything you just need to quickly wash. Its design is really kind of cool to be honest and I see this one to be quite convenient. At 2700 RMB, it's not as cheap as I would have expected it to be though. Then there's these two, almost identical looking laundry machines from Fiomi. The difference between them, besides the price, is that this one actually comes as a washing machine and dryer combination. As I really miss having a dryer, I think I will probably buy this one very, very soon. It connects over Wi-Fi, so you could turn it on and off remotely. You can monitor it when you're not at home. Although I do kind of wonder how much you will use that. The capacity of these is actually 8 kilograms, making these very interesting as they are priced 2300 and 2600 RMB respectively, making these very attractively priced. So if you want to dry your clothes in a different way, there's this really interesting Mr. Bond drying rod. You can hang your clothes on this rod, which actually has a heating mechanism, which allows you to dry your clothes while hanging. It can be mounted to the ceiling and it can move up and down with this switch, as well as with the Mi Home app so you can hide it when it's not in use. With the app, you can also set the duration of the drying depending on the type of clothes you've got hanging. And I honestly have never seen anything like it. And it does look really interesting. They've got four different models with and without heating, ranging from 1100 to 1700 RMB. Next up, we saw this Viomi Wi-Fi enabled built-in dishwasher, which looks really, really nice to be honest. These actually work with the app as well, so you could remotely monitor your dishes. 2200 RMB. If you don't have the luxury of having such a large home, Yopin has something in store for you as well to do your dishes, which is this rather convenient tabletop dishwasher. And of course, when you're eating and preparing your food in your Wi-Fi enabled Viomi smart kitchen, you will need to dispose a lot of food and a lot of waste. And what better to do that than this Viomi kitchen waste processor? This one comes with a dedicated wireless switch and it doesn't even seem to have Wi-Fi. What a missed chance. It came in for 2000 RMB. They will go through bone like butter. Now they move into the hot water business with this gas water heater. This one can heat up to 16 liters per minute and I really like the design of this one with that really nice and big LED display on the front. Fiomi stepped in and said we can do gas heaters as well and they came out with two models that both have Wi-Fi. They've got this smaller 13 liter model and this 60 liter model. Both can be used with the Mi Home app to monitor the water quality and the temperature. Next up we've got this Yi Lock drawer and cabinet lock which can be installed in your drawer or cupboard to add a Bluetooth enabled lock to your existing furniture. It consists out of two pieces that can be easily installed and locked and unlocked from your phone or tablet. If you have certain cupboards or drawers that you want to lock for your kids or your housekeeper or something, this can be very interesting. I will do a much more detailed video when I've got mine installed as I've bought it a month ago in the crowdfunding and it just got out in the Yopin store for 99 RMB. 
A really cool one is this analog to digital notebook and pen. This allows you to draw on paper, which most artists still prefer, and it actually saves your drawings and sketches as a digital file. The notebook connects over Bluetooth 5.0 and synchronizes your sketches directly to your phone or tablet. This is exactly the same as Wacom was doing or as Moleskin has as well. However, this one is just a fraction of the price. It should also have text recognition that digitizes your text, although I don't know how accurate that will work. Your sketches can be saved as a JPEG or PNG image, and it can also save a time lapse of your sketch as a MP4 or animated GIF. It came out for only 250 RMB, making this one very competitively priced. I obviously ordered it the second it came out, so I will do a hands-on review as soon as I receive mine, as I'm very excited to try this out. Then we've got Qi chargers. First one is this white rubbery textured Xiaomi charger that's uh, almost permanently sold out since the moment it got launched. Then we've got this Zimmy Qi charger that is 18 watts compared to the 10 watts on the other charges. And this one has got a glass top, which is easier to clean, but also a little bit more slippery. It came in for 129 RMB, but the price just got dropped down to 109 RMB last week. Then Xiaomi released this black Qi charger, which got a very different texture than the rubber one, which is actually quite good. It's also got 10 watts and comes in for 69 RMB. Then V8 stepped in and made their Qi chargers, which you can get as a 5 watt or 10 watt quick charger. You can get this one in silver, red or blue for 90 RMB for the 5 watt or 120 RMB for the 10 watt version. And to make it even more complete, there is this mouse pad with a built in Qi charger. This one has a Bluetooth volume control knob for your computer audio, a very large mouse pad area, and a spot to put down your phone to charge it. It's actually quite interesting and it came in for 199 RMB. And except for the VH charger, I've gotten all of these chargers and I will be doing a video comparing and trying out all of these chargers in a video coming up quite soon as well. Xiaomi now has a whole bunch of mechanical keyboards in the Yopin store, but the ones that really stood out to me were these rather vintage looking low free mechanical keyboards. These come in this green color, white and red, and they've got a limited edition B-Duck model. There are just a few Bluetooth keyboards that actually work on Mac OS, and this is one of them. You can pair a single keyboard to multiple devices and switch between your devices using the function keys, which is actually really convenient when switching between your tablet, phone and computer, for example. They have a fairly decent battery, which means you don't have to charge them that often when you use them over Bluetooth 3.0. However, you could use them over USB as well, if that's what you prefer. These are really a joy to type on, as I could not resist buying them as well, as it turns out I'm a little bit insane when it comes to buying stuff from the Yopin store. These keyboards are being sold by Low Free outside of China as well, and they look really, really cool. They came in the Yopin store for 399 RMB for the regular collars and 640 RMB for the B Duck model, which comes with this mouse pad and wrist resting pad. They also released this super awesome looking Low Free mechanical calculator as well. This one comes in the same colors as their keyboards that white, green, and red, and these are such a joy to type on as well. You really don't want to input small numbers on these, so I've started sending out much bigger invoices to my clients just because I've been using this calculator. I've been getting a lot of questions about these calculators as I've used it in quite a lot of videos recently. And even though everyone has a calculator on their smartphone or computer, this one just looks awesome on your desk. And honestly, it's a lot more fun to calculate than with your phone. The only thing I personally really miss on this one is the option to pair it as a new numeric keyboard to your computer over Bluetooth because that would have been really, really amazing. Besides that, it's just a really cool retro looking mechanical calculator that came in the store for 129 RMB. Next up were a lot more computer accessories like this gaming chair. Yeah. Just out in crowdfunding last week are these copper Marvel figurines. These Avengers miniature figurines should come in full copper. They are actually really licensed by Marvel. They look really cool and come in for 369 RMB each or as a full set for 3000 RMB. I've ordered a few of these as I think that they will look pretty cool in some of my upcoming videos. I actually kind of appreciate these. Really cool is this set to transform the Xiaomi 9bot 
hoverboard into an actual cart. This is quite pricey, but I would love to review that and maybe we can do like a racing video. Oh yeah. Then Xiaomi is reaching for the stars as this telescope came out in the Yopin store for only 1100 RMB and this also connects to your smartphone to take photos of the galaxy. That's pretty cool. And if that's not enough and you want to do some fitness, they've got these walking machines and even this really insane smart rowing machine that's even got a phone or tablet mount so that you can watch my videos while rowing. Then there was a home trainer with a built-in screen and this amazingly priced powered skateboard so that I can do my Casey Neistat vlogs cruising on this skateboard. They've also released a bunch of new toys including this really cool Lego-like set, a whole bunch of plush Me Too bunnies, which I've actually got all of them. And then they've got a whole bunch of baby strollers, which are really well priced as they range from 400 to 700 RMB, which is really, really cheap for a stroller. One thing I personally found to be really cool is this Bluetooth enabled Rubik's Cube. This allows you to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. You can play time based and competitive solving games and actually solve the cube over Bluetooth when it's paired to your phone or tablet. I did a video about it a few weeks back, which is really not getting the amount of views I hoped for. So maybe you should go back and give that video a little bit of love because I put way too much work in making a video about a Rubik's Cube. Then there were all these products that I can't even cover in much detail, like all these power tools, a whole lot of food related products, and even gold. Yeah, gold. Like this uh, really cool looking golden Me Too bunny. This is really just a fraction of all the new products in the Xiaomi Yopin store. So I haven't been keeping up with this series as I've been working for this rather famous mouse, but I'm back and I will be staying up to date with everything that comes out. So it should be a lot easier and a lot more manageable for me to cover and a lot easier for you to digest. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. Hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video so that you can be amongst the first to see them. And I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.